Hey everybody, how's it going? It's Tarina. How's everybody doing today? If you're here, make sure you say hello. I would love to see who's on and hanging out with me today. Um, I am gonna make, so I'm using our bistro board, brand new little bistro board. I love it, do you love it? It's double-sided, oh, I'm just gonna move all my little chalks. I'm using shimmer, cause you guys know I love the shimmer, shimmer. But look how cute, double-sided, super, super cute. And today is the first day of fall, so I am gonna use, I'm gonna use this cute little transfer. It's autumn is the year's last loveliest smile. It is, I love the, is this, oh shoot, sorry. Again, if you're here, make sure you say hello. I'd love to say hi to you. Um, I'm gonna, so this is how you, you do this board. It's super easy. You just unscrew the top just like this. And then you don't have to take it off all the way, but it just loosens this screw right here. And then you could choose which side you want to use. And if you guys are here, make sure you share because sharing is caring. And I've got my fuzz cloth because this is a brand new transfer. I'm going to make sure I fuzz it. The one's not really big. And again, this is our bistro board. You always want to fuzz a brand new transfer because they're sticky. Our transfers are reusable. See, they're sticky. They're reusable, removable. Um, if you, like say I did it this way and I didn't want it there, I just pick it up and I move it. And this is one of our A-size transfers. This is super cute. And what's really cool about it is um, it fits, it's specifically made for our bistro board, our pillar stand, our board and base. Um, I love that we have these fun little transfers that fit specifically on our boards. And again, if you're here, make sure you say hi. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use uh, the almond for the center. And then I have these uh, other uh, colors, these shimmer colors. This is copper, shimmer harvest, and shimmer olive. I think these are right now are my two favorites. I keep using these two right now all the time. It's kind of crazy. Um, and I'm gonna do, you, you could do one color and make it wham, bam, you're done. But I don't do that, right? <laughs> I can't do that. So I'm gonna actually use um, our multi-tool and our um, uh, detail tool. And the detail tool is really cool. So I'm gonna show you really fast. If you, um, if you, you could pick up your transfer, it helps you pick up your transfer. You could use this to do dots. Um, it's pointy, so be really careful. And then um, it also has this mini, mini, mini squeegee right here. Hi, Amy. Um, so this is our multi-tool. This is our mini squeegee. I've shown people this before. But, and then this is our small squeegee. So do you see how it's like half and half and half? Isn't that cool? So it gets smaller and smaller so you could get into the little details. I don't need the small squeegee. Um, I'll probably use the mini squeegee for the center, but then I'm going to use the detail tool and the the detail tool and the um, the multi tool to get these details on the outside. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do the center first, and I'm going to use almond paste for that. And again, if you're here and you don't mind sharing, I'd really appreciate it. Uh, you want to make sure that your your chalk paste is about the consistency of yogurt if it's thick and this is a little thick it's not bad but it's a little thick i'm just going to squirt some um some water distilled water in here and stir it up with my multi-tool there we go see and it just it comes right back look at that nice and smooth Okay, and then just rip it off. Go. Now I'm gonna grab my 
mini squeegee. And just smooth it over. Allergies. Allergies are crazy today. I'll take the allergies. Because <laughs> our weather keeps changing and I sorry. Sorry. I thought I turned my phone off. Apparently I did not. So I'm just trying to cover all of the words on the inside there. And then I'm gonna squeegee it off. Just drag it and put any excess right back in the container. I'm gonna make sure all of the area is covered, all the little screened area is covered on the inside. And here's, a, here's another thing, you guys. If you don't want to do a bunch of colors, you don't have to. I promise it's not a necessity. I just like to do fancy. <laughs> you can do simple. Simple's fine. Still gorgeous. Okay, I'm gonna pull this up. See, I missed just a teeny little bit because I was trying not to get it. There we go. And if you go slow enough, you can catch any little things that didn't go through. All right, I'm going to use my um, heat gun, but I have a cool setting. So I'm going to use the cool setting to set uh, the pace real quick. How's everybody doing today? If you are here, make sure you tell me where you're from. I'd like to know where everybody's joining from. It's always fun. You can use a blow dryer or heat gun. Just make sure it's on a cool setting. You never want to use heat because you'll melt your transfer. Now, if I didn't have my transfer on the board, I could, um, I could use heat, but not near the transfer. You will melt that. And I say that from experience. Now, if you just wanted to let it dry on its own, you can. But look how fast that dried. Okay, so now I'm going to just push down my transfer. And if you guys are not part of my craft group, I have a craft group, fun craft group. Make sure you put uh, VIP in the comments. And uh, my, my virtual assistant will actually send you a link to my craft group. Let me grab a paper towel real fast. Oh, I have to wash my, I have to wash off my multi-tool. Um, also, just so you guys know, I'm gonna do another little like bonus project, has nothing to do with chalking, but I'm making, um, a friend of mine gave me some uh, wine corks and she's like can you use these I'm like uh yeah I could I don't drink wine but um I'm a crafter I'm sure I could find something to do with wine corks so we're going to be doing that so you can see them right here I'm going to be doing something with the wine corks in just a few minutes so one more thing I need to get that paper towel I hope your Tuesday it's Tuesday right it's 2020 still, right? I keep forgetting what day it is, what, you know, what time of day it is. I have to set like a billion alarms just to remind me to do stuff. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to get these prepared. I'm going to get my uh, chalk paste open because I'm going to do a paste and pull. And what that means is that when, as soon as I paste, as, as soon as I use the paste, I'm going to pull, uh, I'll do like a certain amount and then I'll pull and let it dry and then put it down again. Um, it, I do that because I don't want my paste to dry quickly. Oh, I need to put a little bit of water in this one. This one's a little thick. This got a little thick. So 
And again, you want your chalk paste, even your shimmers, you want them to be about the consistency. You want them creamy. So you want them about the consistency of yogurt. And you can, you don't want to add water to our uh, inks, but you can add water to our paste. And if you want to order this stuff, you totally can. We have bundles over in my craft group or, or you can always ask for the link to my website. Just put link in the comments. And anytime I use water on any of my product or any of my chalk paste, I'm always using distilled water because you don't want all the filaments and icky stuff because you don't want uh, the minerals to cause uh, mold in your paste. Okay, that's perfect. Again, if you're here and you feel like sharing, please do. Oh yeah, so I I um, I love wine corks. There's so many things, right? There's so many things that we could do with the wine corks. Okay, so I'm trying to think, should I do? I almost think I need the detail tool for this guy. Let me rinse off. I should have probably done the detail tool um, for the copper because I've got to get inside little tiny areas. So I want to make sure not to touch. And I think the multi-tools will be fine with the other colors. Let's see. There we go. All right. So let's start. I'm going to do yellow for the acorns. I'm getting fancy, but I'm not getting super fancy. So I'm just going to do the acorns yellow. And I'm using it almost like a paintbrush. I know it's not a paintbrush. But I do use it sort of like a paintbrush. And then... And I do green for the leaves. I love these shimmer colors. You guys are so pretty. Just beautiful. And it's just enough. If you guys aren't really into sparkles, it is just enough of a sparkle to make it pop. Okay. And then the rest of it, I'm going to do with the detail tool. Again, I'm kind of using it like a paintbrush. So I can get it into these little tiny areas. It's probably a little, I probably should have added more water. That's okay. It'll work. It'll work. I'm just trying to get into the little tiny areas with this detail tool. So how is first day of fall for you guys? Like I said, it's been really beautiful here the last few days, not like 115 degrees. It's still hot outside but definitely not really super hot, which is nice. Okay. Okay. okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull this up, make sure it all went down. Ooh, look at that. Oh, you guys look how pretty that, oh my gosh. So pretty. Okay. I'm going to use the cool setting again. I love our shimmers too, Amy. They are really beautiful. And the copper, even though it's a shimmer, it I love our bark. I love our, our brown, which is uh, bark. But I'm telling you, I love the copper because it it almost has that like a mixture look. 
So it's not so brown, but it has enough brown and like that um, copper look. I, I just, I think it's, I think it's perfect. Um, let's see. So I'm going to do green there just in case I don't, I'm going to miss that. Hello, Miss Sherry. Yeah, me too, Liz. I love the shimmers. So, uh, Sherry, we're actually going to, we were just in Arizona at my mom's, uh, cleaning my mom's house. And then we're leaving again tomorrow. Um, her service is on um, Friday. So I was just, I actually was just talking to the cemetery today. <sighs> Adulting is hard, you guys. <laughs> doesn't matter how old you are and you have to deal with parents dying. And my, my dad died when I was, um, how old was I? 32, 32. And I had to, my mom and dad were divorced. And so I, I had to, he wasn't married. And so as the oldest child, I planned his funeral. That was hard little kids. I had four little kids. That was hard. But again, it's been 20 years. And I thought, you know, my mom, I didn't realize my mom was sick. So I thought I had a while because her mom, her mom didn't die until she was 91. My mom was only 71. So, you know, things happen. Ah, life, adulting, sometimes it just sucks. So we're going to be in Arizona for that this weekend. Well, tomorrow, tomorrow till Sunday. Twenty twenty, I'm telling you. <laughs> I don't want to repeat of this year. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah. And I love, I, you know, okay, so, okay, I have to tell you guys this. I'm sorry I'm talking about funerals and stuff, but, you know, COVID is just so lame. I don't like COVID. I don't think anybody does. Nobody wants COVID, right? But some of the things that are put out there are ridiculous. And I have a sister who is a nurse and she deals with COVID patients and COVID all the time. And so she goes, you know, COVID's a real thing, which we all agree it's a real thing. People have been dying from it. It's such a real thing. I totally get it. But she said there's so much false information. Oh gosh, you guys, look at that. Sorry, I probably shouldn't even say the word because they might censor me. But they told us that we couldn't have flowers, real flowers because of COVID, because you could spread COVID with real flowers. They said, really? <laughs> I just thought that was ridiculous. Again, I'm not saying it's true or not, but I just asked my sister and she's like, no, that's not true. Flowers don't spread COVID. But that's okay, because, you know, look for the blessings in life. My mother was an artist. She was a beautiful, she, she painted the most beautiful paintings. And over the years, because she knows I love her floral paintings, um, she has given me a lot of her floral paintings. And I'm just so grateful. I'm so grateful because I have over 20 paintings that I am I have framed or that she had given me recently that I'm having. Um, like, I just saw my mom not right before, like, quarantine. And uh, at my grandma's funeral, um, she brought me some paintings and um, I, she had sent me a couple more and there are flowers. So I'm having all of, if I, if I just got them from her or um, if I, I already had some that were framed, uh, we're going to have about 20 floral paintings displayed. So who needs real flowers? They die anyway. So we are actually going to have my mom's floral paintings displayed. Instead of real flowers. So I'm trying to look at the small blessings, you guys. Trying to look at the small blessings. And just so grateful that I have that. 
not whining, just looking for small blessings. <laughs> They are, Kim. I'm telling you, I I asked, when the guy said that, I said, you're kidding, right? And he was dead, dead serious. Oh, sorry, that was a pun. But he was serious. He was like, no, really, you can't have real flowers. And I said, are you kidding me? And he goes, no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> sure. You guys, look at how beautiful this is. Yeah, Sherry, I'll, and you know what? I'll, I'll send a picture to you guys. Her favorite color is purple, so I'm bringing a table and putting a purple tablecloth out. And then um, I'm going to have, um, a, like I said, just at different levels, I'm going to have all of her paintings out. So I'll, I'll, I'll send, I'll post a picture uh, so you guys can see what it looks like. I'm, I'm actually, I'm actually more excited about it because it's, it's her, right? It's, it's her celebration. We're celebrating my mom. And so why not, why not um, celebrate her with her paintings, her art? Like I said, little blessings, you guys. You have to look at the blessings in all things. Okay. Awesome. Okay, I, I'm so glad I decided to do the different little colors. It's just little pops of color. Look at that. So cute. Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, so I'm gonna put these aside real fast because now we're gonna do a project that has nothing to do with chocolate tour. <laughs> Yeah, I'm really excited. Yeah, and, and her paintings, okay, so like I've actually sent her pictures that I'd seen of, or so, like pictures of my pictures, because uh, being a photographer, I have gone to a lot of places, and so I um, will see flowers that I love, and I'll send her pictures of those flowers, and, um, and she'll actually paint them. So uh, I'm, you know, those are some of the pictures that I have that I'm gonna be displaying. So, okay, so I'm going to, this is not a new idea. I saw this on Pinterest. Um, I, I didn't, I don't have directions, but I'm going to tell you how I'm going to do it. And then you guys can make it, make it yourself. What are some of these here? Hmm. Um, but these are, these are, uh, like I said, um, corks. And they're all different sizes. I have 25, I believe, here. And I'm just going to make a, a pumpkin-looking thing. And if you kind of stack them. Now, I have it flat, so you're, you're going to see why I'm doing it like this. Let me move this up just a little bit so you guys can see. Move this out of the way. Um, you're going to see why I'm doing it the way I'm doing um, because on the other side, I'm going to flip it over and then I'm going to paint uh, a little bit of orange with some acrylic paint. And then this guy, it didn't have any writing and it kind of looked like a like the top of the pumpkin. So I'm actually going to glue this down. Another thing that I, I realized is that where the where the corkscrew thing goes in, um, I have this sitting up and I have the, the other side, everything is flat on the other side and it doesn't have um, like a, any blemish or anything. Some of them have like wine stain and I'm okay with that. So I just, what I'm doing, I'm just going to start gluing. I have my, oops, sorry. I have my hot glue gun and I'm just going to put a little bit of glue like this and just start gluing them together.
Like this. Just be careful, you don't want to burn yourself because you know, I have a bunch of glue burns. Um, this is okay. And I love it. Um, so the friend was actually a friend of my son and uh, in Kansas. And so a lot of these are wineries from Kansas that she would go to. She, she goes, I promise you it's not like just the last month that I've drank all this wine. <laughs> I thought it was really cute. Um, she goes, it's been a collection. She goes, but I don't know what to do. And she was moving. Uh, and so she's like, I need to get rid of them. And she goes, can you do something with them? I'm like, huh, yeah. I like what you said, Liz. I'm going to try that. Make a tassel. Like I said, I don't, I don't do a ton of um, crafts with, with um, cor uh, wine corks, but doesn't mean that I can't try. Um, and the ones that are really like broken, I just I didn't use those. I wanted them to be about the same, about the same size. Like this guy's a little short, so I'm putting them on the outside. I don't want this on the inside. And then um, if they're colorful, you could put the, the writing and stuff to the outside. But you want the stuff on the bottom to be flat. And I'm gonna flip it over so you could see. See how that's all flat? Okay. And I'm just, like I said, I kind of like arranged them before I started just so I had an idea what I was doing. And it doesn't have to be perfect because it's supposed to look like a pumpkin. It doesn't have to be perfect. Again, if you guys are here for the first time, make sure you let me know where you're from. Uh, I don't know if I said this in the beginning. It, uh, I have, um, I have twenty-five uh, corks. That's what it's taken me to do this. What's really neat is if you guys do are, are wine drinkers. My sister and brother-in-law, they're wine drinkers. Um, and they will they have they keep a lot of their uh, wine corks because you know things me I guess it's almost like a scrapbook of wine corks you I, you know you could save them and make something special with them to remember like maybe a special dinner or a special time with friends or whatever so like you could see them from the outside so I thought that was really cool. All right. Sorry, I'm talking to myself. <laughs> and I had so many, I did have a lot to choose from. So just like I said, just kind of like put them together and see how it all fits and then move some if you have extras but like i said this took here's another thing too you can go to the craft store and buy blank um blank ones you don't have to have the actual used ones <laughs> if you don't want she just had them and that was just a good opportunity for me to get some and use them and might even make her one and send her a little pumpkin. This is just hot glue. Like I said, be careful. <laughs> I've already burnt myself once now. 
And as I put them down, I'm kind of, you know, making sure that I push it down so that it's flat on the, on the board. Beautiful. Okay. Last row. Sorry. Sorry. Last row. Oh gosh, that's so cute. Hey, Mambo. That's a cute name. So that brings up a story because, you know, I always have stories. Um, again, I'm not a wine drinker, but I do have grandchildren. And my grandson, um, my grandson uh, loves the, uh, the little, we call it the Mambo ride because it plays the Hey Mambo song uh, at, at uh, California Adventure, which is next to Disneyland. And so it's, we call it the, the Mambo ride. I thought that was cute. Smoky Hill. She likes, she apparently likes the Smoky Hill wine. Um, it's a local, a local winery in Kansas. Cause she's got a lot of bottles of corks of that. The last one. All right. Okay. Look at you guys, how cute. Now I could totally leave it like that, right? And that would be super, super cute. Um, I'm, I am gonna, but look how cute this one is. It looks like a, you know, like the stem. So I am gonna put this up here. This last little guy. Give that some time to dry. Okay, so I'm gonna set this aside just a second. I'm gonna put this, let's get this all together. And so there's a hole at the bottom here. You put it in the little peg and then uh, line it up with that thing at the top. And then just screw that on. Now I could add something to that later, but um, I'm not gonna do it right now. I just have some ribbon that I had left over for, from something. I'm just gonna tie it at the bottom. I think there's somebody at my door. Oh, there's somebody at my door. Give me just, give me just a second. I'm gonna go let her in. Or it's an order. <laughs> give me just a second. I'll be right back. Like Mr. Rogers' neighborhood around here. Hi, Hello, come on in. Yeah. I'm doing a live. Oh. <laughs> That's my friend, Wendy. Wendy's here. <laughs> Come on. Come hang out for a few minutes. I'm doing a craft. I am making, actually, Wendy is on my team. So they're making this. Oh, very cute. Yeah. And then I am making this. Oh, yeah. Cute. Um, so, okay, so that ribbon is on. We're done there. Just tied a simple ribbon or bow. There we go. Set that there. Okay, so this is dry pretty much. So what I'm gonna do, and just check it. You don't, you're not gonna, I mean, maybe my two-year-old grandson might <laughs> get to it, but I'm okay with that. Um, but now I'm just taking acrylic paint, some orange acrylic paint. You can just move stuff out of your way. 
And she, oh, sorry, Dee Dee is my welcoming party. I'm just gonna put a little bit of paint in my dish. Yeah, she is a good girl. Like I said, you guys can uh, leave it like this if you want, but I'm going to actually just kind of almost, um, not really watercolor, but I'm gonna thin that acrylic paint down. And then just kind of orange over the ends. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. Some of these, like I said, had um, like a uh, wine stain on them because, you know. And you could totally leave it like that. There we go. This is quick and easy. And it, like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. I am not in the business of being perfect. It's art. Crafting is art. And when is your show, uh, Wendy? October 3rd. Uh, oh, it's just one day? It's on a Sunday? Yeah, it's so one day. Oh, I don't. About okay. <laughs> Where at? Uh, in Redlands, uh, so it's the same weekend as the junk hunt. Mm -hmm. But you can sell product, right? That's all I can sell. I can't, sell can't sell finished. finished. So and that's opposite of what us. It, ours is all finished goods. So if you guys are going to be, uh, if you're in California, you're going to be around. We have two shows. Thank you, uh, thank you, Amy. Um, Wendy's actually going to be in Redlands, Estancia, Asistencia. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and she is going to have um, product there. Citrus Redlands Market. Oh yeah, I, I think I've been there a long time ago though. Um, she's going to have fun stuff there. We're going to be. Well, I'm actually not going to be here. I'm going to be in Utah, but. Some other of our girls are going to be in uh, San Bernardino, just down the street uh, from Redlands. So you could hit both. Uh, it's the Great Junk Hunt at this, I believe it's this, the Orange Show Fairgrounds, which is the fairgrounds in uh, San Bernardino. Two really great shows if you guys want to go hang out. Um, yours is outdoors, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I think ours, I think they're doing it outdoors as well in San Bernardino. I know people are concerned, so. All right. I think that looks good. And again, every pumpkin is different. So I, I do like that there's light and dark a little bit. Um, because of the wine stains. Okay, set this guy aside. I'm gonna dry this off. Yeah, the pumpkin is so cute. So excited. And then I just have some ribbon that I've been using with all of my fall projects. And I'm just going to take a shear. And, of course, it's green. <laughs> so it's going to look like, you know, leaves. And then I have a lace. And then what I'm going to do is just do, again, a, just a simple bow knot type thing. Let's trim this. It's easier. Tie a simple knot. I just like to do this because it kind of covers up where I've glued. I don't like the ugly glue to show. See, nothing, nothing fancy. 
And then I'm just going to trim it. Make it look prettier. There you go. See? Cute. Okay, I'm going to do one step further. I'm actually going to show you where I'm going to put it now. How cute is that? You guys, that's so cute. That's really turned out. I'm like so impressed with myself. I'm super impressed with myself, you guys. <laughs> yeah, I do too. I love it. I love this. So I'm going to take this and you guys are going to walk over with me. Let's see. Um, exit solo layout. You guys are going to get to look at me. Hello. How are you guys doing? I'm going to do a solo layout. Let's see if I, I don't think I can flip flop it, but that's okay. So here is where I'm, I don't know if you guys can see. Okay. This is where I'm going to be able to um, put it. You guys, I'm going to put that video right there. Uh, this project I did yesterday, I'm going to put that video up probably later tonight, but gosh, can you guys see that? I'm going to take this. Again, I hope you guys can see this. I'm going to stick this right here. I know it's like right with my, my sliding glass door. And then I'm going to put my little pumpkin right here. You guys can see that. That light is super bright. But it'll look really nice. And I'll just kind of arrange that. I'll take a picture. I promise. I promise to take a picture. Whoo! Sweaty in here. Oh yeah, maybe I don't know. I don't know how to flip flop this around either. I don't think I can. Yeah, I don't think I can. But thanks everybody. Um, I'll take a picture. I'll post it in the group in just a second, and um, so you guys can see what it looks like. Like I said, it's the first day of fall, and I'm really trying to get stuff done around here. And um, I, well, like I said, we're heading out tomorrow, so I promise I'll post some videos while I'm gone. Um, and, uh, if you guys are interested in doing what I'm doing, just comment join below and I'll send you the link, uh, some information on becoming a designer. Uh, if you want to be part of my VIP group, which is my craft group, put VIP in the comments and we'll get you in there. Um, thanks so much. Thanks Lori. Thanks Sherry. Thanks Kim. Thanks Amy. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today, guys. And if you feel like sharing this video, make sure you put, you just push that little share button and share, share, share away. All right, you guys, have a great day. This has been Tarina, the Create with Tree. That's me. And I'll talk to you next time. Bye.